We're just going to now get started on adding our rich text editor into our Drupal prototype, beginning with the adjustments of the text formats. This is where settings are stored as to what HTML tags can be used, beginning with the filtered HTML, where we want to remove the link and image tag support if those are there, and create another one for the trusted roles and get that customized. Then link our tiny MCE through WuzzyWig, set up our matching profiles to the text formats. The configuration settings for text format is, of course, found under configuration and then content authoring text format. There are two that were created by Drupal upon install. The filtered format is going to apply to everyone. So let us change that so it does not apply to the administrator, but does apply to those in the visitor role. And we are going to limit the HTML tags. And we are not going to allow links, but we are going to leave that pretty much as is. Now, under the HTML tags themselves, the ones that we want to take out, the HTML tags for this filter are now fine with just that one adjustment because the image tag isn't present. We can save this, and that's now been corrected. Now we're going to create one for the trusted roles. Now this again is not going to apply to either administrator or editor who are going to have the full HTML formats. This is going to be for members and even sponsors. We are going to set limits for HTML, convert the blind breaks, and convert those into URLs, and we are going to correct them. I need to move this particular filter up to the top of this list. So you can add more filters, the addition of other modules, such as Pathologic, for checking the proper configuration for links and and now I'm going to also change the length of links down to 35 because I think 72 is just a really too long. Now, insofar as the allowable HTML tags, let me get those from my little cheat sheet, which as you could see is a pretty permissive list. But then this is going to be the majority of those creating content on the site. And now I'll save. That's it for the trusted roles format. The only change I need to make for the full HTML is to add the editor in there in so that they can use that particular format. And that does it for our text formats. Now it's time to turn our attention to the WuzzyWig profile that is going to match up with our text formats that we just created. And you'll find that here under configuration and content authoring. I'm going to take a moment and stress that what I'm doing here in the prototype is a very simplistic structure. I'm using only one language for everything and in fact multiple roles assigned to these text formats. In the real world, you might be configuring a site to run in multiple languages. This means you're going to have to have multiple role settings for each of those languages, multiple text formats for each of those languages, so that then they can be matched up with the editor that is running the proper language, because that is where you meet the distinction for what language is showing to a user is here in this configuration insofar as the editor, that is. Keep that in mind. Another point to keep in mind as I go ahead and activate this 
Tiny, there's actually a significant upgrade out right now for Tiny MCE, but I cannot take advantage of it yet because WuzzyWig itself has not yet been updated to support it. Now, I'm only going to actually show you how to configure one, which is the one for trusts and roles, because I think I can pretty much cover everything you need to know in so far as setting up your editor profile in one. And right here is where you change your interface language for the editor. If you want to disable, which I am going to do this, for those in this role, keep in mind, this is the one for trusted roles. Now we get into all of our lovely buttons and icons. And this is going to probably take you a while because you basically, you sit here and you click and you choose which ones you want to turn on and so forth. It's going to take you a while to get those activated. Now I'm getting down into the plug-in area, which is where you're going to have to take your time to read all these links that are under here to decide which ones you want to turn on and off for a given profile. Note here is where you can change your left to right and right to left directionality. Getting down to the bottom of our list, do make sure you, for your appropriate roles, you're turning on your teaser break and your IMCE support. Moving down under editor appearance. Again, these are where you can make some customization changes based upon what language is being used. Under your cleanup and output, I would advise for the majority of your users that you force the paste from Word plugin function so that if they are pasting things from Word, it will clean up all that junk code. Now under CSS, if you have a busy background or dark colored, you'll probably want to use either the editor default CSS or one that you would create yourself. And I'm going to let you finish up your setup for all of your others as you wish on your own. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.